getting ready to head to the doctor right now. We'll see how it goes. All right, just got here. We actually chose to park in the furthest parking spot. So proud. In the doctor's office, waiting for uh, the doctor to show up. Had a really good conversation with the uh, assistant. She was also overweight, so I just shared my story and hopefully we've made another carnivore. Just got back from the doctor's appointment. It went pretty well. He's on board. I'm not sure how much he believes in what I'm doing, but that's okay. He's still willing to follow me. We're gonna do a lipid test this time. Since he said it's only been a month since we did everything else. Uh, I go back in three months. We're gonna do CBC, vitamins, lipid. Um, I did ask and I forgot to while I was there, but I ended up messaging him asking if we could add an A1C since it's been a year since I've had that checked. So I'm, I'm gonna have that done and hopefully the lipid panel done tomorrow. Uh, I told him that, you know, five weeks ago that I was having to use a walker that I don't have to anymore. I took it out of the car. It's sitting in the garage now, un unneeded. I was able to do bike riding for an hour over the weekend that my GERD was gone. I explained to him that I used to lay down and it didn't matter what I ate. I mean, literally didn't matter what I ate. I'd lay down and at nighttime, I would have acid reflux and aspirate on the acid and you know sit up out of bed thinking I was dying and couldn't breathe. Told him that was completely, it just gone away, no problems. I told him it didn't matter as much fat or little fat or it did not matter. I do not have problems with that anymore. He expressed some concerns with um, the amount of fat in me and the cholesterol. He didn't really want me eating fatty meats or red meats, but I told him I eat red meat at least five times a week um, and that I don't like chicken breast. <laughs> I, if I eat chicken, it's gonna be chicken thighs or chicken legs. Don't like, I do not like light meat. Uh, and I told him, you know, I'm, I'm eating beef, fish, chicken, um, a variety of stuff, not not just straight up beef. Uh, he wants me to take a multivitamin, fine with that. He also expressed concern about having so much protein with kidney stone or with a history now of kidney stones. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen with that. Uh, there was some literature I found and I actually put it on my website talking about how protein doesn't truly affect the kidneys. I, I can't speak, I'm not a physician, I can't speak towards kidney stones in any shape, way, or form, but if I get another one, I don't want it. But as good as I feel now, it would be a heck of a trade-off to have another kidney stone but keep feeling as good as I feel. So hopefully I encouraged him to follow this and if you are watching, and yeah, I think that's everything. Go back three months and I'm just excited to see, honestly, what three months from now, I'd like to rewatch this video and see what happens. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.